Denver International Airport. Of all the things this place could be famous for, like its long lines or the far distance from the city, this airport is best known for being at the center of multiple conspiracy theories. I don't know, maybe it's the giant blue killer horse outside, or the massive murals you pass by going through security, or maybe people are just nuts. Whatever the case, this place has inspired numerous rumors about the sinister things that may be going on here. And who would know more about any of this than the airport's only known permanent resident, Greg the Gargoyle. Greg, who appeared in 2019, lives by the baggage carousel. He'll answer any questions about the mysteries surrounding the airport. The airport embraced the weirdness. A talking gargoyle dropped by to give travelers his two cents and got plenty of laughs. Um, Boy, you never seen a talking gargoyle before? Welcome to Illuminati headquarters. I mean, Denver International Airport. <laughs> it's because of the conspiracy. Oh, it's because of the conspiracy. Look at me, I'm a little know-it-all. Will you get back over here? I got a question about this conspiracy. Recently, we flew from Ontario, California to Chicago, and we had a long layover in the Mile High City. I wanted to meet Greg, but I figured that if he was anything like me, he might be getting really tired of how mainstream conspiracy theories are becoming. So I decided to ask him a refreshing, different question that had nothing to do with conspiracies. What is your favorite RTD line? Hey Greg. I think Greg is still sleeping. Are you? Come here. Get out of here while you can, kid. I used to be just like you 200 years ago. 200? Are you that old? Hey, Greg. Take me with you. Make it fit in the carry-on. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Greg desperately wanted to come with us. He seemed kind of heavy though, so we decided to go explore Denver, leave him at the airport, and report back to him. Greg, this one's for you. Here's what we did in Denver. Wish you could have been there, buddy. So the first thing we did after we last saw you is head down the escalator to the train station. It's so convenient how close the station is from the terminal. I've done this before, but today is Lindsay's first time. Greg, I know you never answered what your favorite RTD line is, but my guess would be that it's the A line. You know, because it stops right in front of your home. It's actually my favorite too. I love that it's electrified, but most importantly, I love the frequencies. Today is a Sunday, and there's still a train every 15 minutes. Where I live, in Chicago, our busiest metro line doesn't even have that on weekdays. We bought day passes. $10 feels a little steep, but it seems fair when I remember the service we get for it. <laughs> Our train was an electric multiple unit, very similar to the Silverliner 5s that run in Philadelphia. Like I told you before, I really like that these lines were built already electrified. The interior was nice and spacious. It looked decently modern for American standards. Seats were in rows of three and two. Of course, Lindsay and I took a row of two. Had you been there, we'd have grabbed a three-seater. I had some trash to throw away and recycle, but sadly the trains didn't seem to have anything to collect trash in. Came from California, but now we're in Colorado, so it's time to switch headgear. The first thing we saw when we left the airport was Blucifer, standing out in the snow. I honestly don't know why the airport has this sculpture. 
It's creepy enough even before you realize that a piece of it killed its sculptor. Literally my favorite thing about riding the train here in Denver is that you get to take in the Rocky Mountains. Suddenly they're just there in your face. As we got closer to Denver, I saw two of the coolest locomotives I've ever seen. These pull the luxurious Rocky Mountaineer. I'd love to take this train someday. Hey Greg, do you think the Illuminati in your basement would have a spare thousand dollars or two lying around so I can ride this? We raced another train into Union Station, but sadly he beat us. I was excited to show Lindsay the train station. The old hall, which is now a hotel, is such a magnificent building. Inside, we perused through some memorabilia and got something warm to drink. I had the best hot chocolate I'd ever had. It was infused with blackberry syrup. So good. Then we spent some time walking through downtown. The mall was under construction, but we managed to catch the rerouted free mall ride. I think the warning noise these electric buses make is so weird. We saw a squirrel who was probably looking for some frozen food in the snow. We didn't have to search that hard. We found some amazing pizza. On the train back, we waved at the Rocky Mountaineer locomotives one more time. Then Lindsay noticed something. I looked out the window and they were all prairie dogs watching our train go by. Anyways, Greg, that's what we did today. Sorry we couldn't take you with us. Hope you enjoyed our little report. Next time we come to Denver, I want to spend more time here. Still, I love that the RTD enables us to visit the city even when we're just on a layover. And next time we're here, we'll say hi to you again, of course. Maybe you'll be a little chattier.